Hey guys. So I'm just going through, I'm swapping my Sanwa out for a uh, Sumitsu uh, LS40. So here's my order here. So I got uh, Sumitsu, uh, the gold shaft, um, duck, I don't know what those are. So the Sumitsu, the big ones are the Sumitsu LS40, the stick, which is that. Um, and then we got uh, aluminum bat top gold, which is, um, which is this thing here. And it looks very orange, it doesn't look very gold, so I mean, I'm a little bit upset about that, but I mean, like, it's, what can you do? I mean, I'm, I'm trying to make this thing look tacky. I mean, the gold buttons look really nice. The gold buttons look, like, super, super clean and super pristine, for lack of a better word, but, um, this just kind of looks weird, and I don't want to get into the look scene and stuff, but, like, I mean, I spent, like, a lot of money, <laughs> I spent way too much money on this stuff, so, um, I'm gonna keep this, obviously, I'm not gonna be a scumbag and send it back, but, um, it just would be nice if it wasn't orange and, you know, this is more orange than gold, so, I mean, that's gold, this is orange, I mean, even if it was halfway between this and this, that'd be nice, but it, it's, it's, it is what it is, I guess you could say. So, yeah, so we've got the, uh, J, uh, the Sumitsu LS40 mounted in here, it turns out the pins do face this way on my, I'm using the Kwamba, the, uh, the uh, big, ugly, heavy Kwamba, um, it's great, great so far. I don't know if there's any, uh, I don't know if there's any like board delay or anything, but it seems pretty good. Um, I did end up swapping out this the uh, the Sanwa joystick because of mechanical delay. Um, I know a lot of like old schoolers, like arcade beat 'em up guys and Street Fighter dudes, like the um, like the uh, Sanwa uh, J was a JLF or whatever. But I hated it. It had about a quarter second mechanical delay, so for me, that joystick was pretty much useless. I mean, it'd be fun if I'm playing Turtles in Time and stuff like that, or I'm playing a game where I, you know, I'm memorizing a shmup. But the problem is, about five times an hour, I was dying due to mechanical delay. And five deaths an hour due to mechanical delay is entirely too many deaths. Um, I'd rather just die from mess-ups, right? So I die, die enough from mess-ups as it is, but if you're throwing five deaths I'm counting in my head due to mechanical delay... And there, it's just it's unacceptable. So, the Sumitsu LS40, it might be my playstyle. I'm a, I'm I'm one who, I'm a control playstyle. I don't like slapping it and, and beating up the the stick too much. Um, I like to play just just reactionary, and that might be a down a, a downside for me because I know there are guys who can clear, you know, full games on the JLF. They might mod. I think some guy said he modified the shaft width and stuff a bit to maybe reduce some of the throw distance, but. Um, the stock JLF for me was uh, was useless. I mean, and it probably has applications for some games, nostalgia games, mostly. I would say um, I might be upsetting people with that, but I mean, it's yeah, honestly, if you're using a JLF or anything other than like like fighting games, or um, you can't use it for. A, I mean, you can't use it for a platformer. You couldn't use it for. That's another one of the reasons I got rid of these buttons. So the San the 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 Sanwa buttons, they're they they have they're mushy, so when I'm playing a game like Super Meat Boy, right, and I want to feel the the exact time to to do my jump, it seems like the engage, the consistency of the engage, there's a bit of a delay. Whereas these ones are a lot more sensitive, and it's not a lot more, but I mean when you're trying to jump at the millisecond of an edge, and you're falling in you know the the lava or the spike pit all the time. You really don't want mushy buttons. I mean, my keyboard keyboard I use we all use um, uh, MX. I use MX Blues in my keyboard. Now these buttons, these are the sorry. I'll say it again. These are the uh, Crown Samwa SB uh, SDB 20, uh, 202 MX. You guys can read there. Intellic. Okay, so these are. I think they're MX Silvers. Um, I was looking for MX Blues, but they were sold out. Um, the 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 sound on these. They're still loud. I mean, the volume the volume and noise you're getting out of them is is not as high pitch as the Sanwa, but they're still they're still loud. So um, I, I don't care. I'm not a Street Fighter guy. I don't play fighting games. I don't care about people you know uh, hearing my spams and stuff. Um, I just want react the buttons, and these seem more reactive. But I'll let you guys know how that goes. So we're gonna get this thing wired up and hooked up, and I gotta get the. This is my first time on a bat top. I'm going to make sure I don't forget to put the thing on this time, because that's the reason I took it off last time. Uh, this is my first time on a bat top, so I'm going to see how it goes and see how the LS40 goes and uh, whether that's good enough or I'm going to have to make some small adjustments. 
I think from what I've heard, um, this should be enough. Because the thir LS32 guys say this is, some of them say this is overkill. And um, and a lot of the complaints with the LS32 is it's a bit bit mushy at times, even though it's uh, the throw distance is a lot less. So uh, you guys probably know all know, know all this already. So we're gonna find out what my first uh, reactions are like on the LS40. And I think I've gone over everything, and I'll let you guys know, and we'll get back to it in a sec here. Thank you. Okay, so we gamed for an hour on this. Um, we game for an hour. Um, the duck. So these the the buttons are amazing. The buttons are phenomenal. These are these buttons make the Sanwa look like uh, like Walmart, like cheap, just cheap, cheapest Walmart stuff you can imagine. Um, they're really nice buttons. Amazing buttons. So good. The buttons alone is worth the price. Now these buttons are expensive. The fact that I only bought four buttons shows you kind of how expensive they are. I also didn't want to like pull the trigger on butt on a. Uh, on something I wasn't sure of, so the fact that I got four of them put it at like, like twenty bucks, twenty five bucks. Like that's the price you're dealing with. That's Canadian. I mean, American they're probably a bit bit cheaper, but I mean that's expensive, right? There, there's, but they're really really good. The, like the, if if you're if you're if you have a, you know a, uh, a Quamba Dragon that's probably gonna last three hundred years. This thing is built like a tank. Like you could literally throw this down a flight of stairs every day. And aside from maybe the joystick breaking, it would still you still have. I mean, the plastic would probably break off, but the actual core structure of the thing would be would be intact. I'm more than certain of because this thing is a tank. Uh, but just don't throw it down flights of stairs. So the 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 gold buttons are nice. They look nice. Um, they feel nice. These feel mushy. These feel crispy. Here, let me show you. See, so that's like that's a big deal. Now, the LS40 um, is good. Is good. Uh, I played for an hour. I maybe had one instance of mechanical delay, um, but I think that was mostly technique based. I think I just I think I just missed uh, didn't quite uh, I misread the engage on on the joystick as I'm learning it. So I had one instance. Uh, whereas with the Sanwa. Uh, I would have had five instances per hour. I have about five instances per hour where I die from mechanical delay. Today we had maybe one um, in an hour. So my first run through, I made it to I made it to like a decent way through. Um, a, a I made it to a decent marker. The second and third run through, I got kind of sloppy and I started running into bullets and stuff. And I made it might have been just be uh, the back. Door. I'm getting a little bit too twitchy with it, which I hear that uh, that happens. But um, in general, when you're focused. Um, when you're focused, you can really, you can really like, you know, you can really do what you need to do with it. Um, so yeah, so my only complaint was uh, maybe one instance of mechanical delay. So I don't know if I can make this thing even more uh, reactive, but it honestly does not need to be that much more reactive. Maybe just the slightest bit more. But in general, this is usable and it's infinitely better than the uh, this the. Um, the Sanwa, infinitely better. The buttons are infinitely better. So I made a good decision on that. I mean, this stuff's expensive, like I said, but uh, so the, all that's good. I mean, the, the, the one thing that's not good is the brass top is ugly. I might switch this one with like a copper top eventually, or sorry, a uh, not copper, a um, stainless steel kind of top eventually, just to make it look a little bit nicer because it might match all this stuff. And um, the gold did not, <laughs> the gold wasn't very gold. Um, other than that, I mean, this has been great. This has been, this makes my joystick usable. I mean, before this wasn't usable. Now I can use this, I can use this almost probably as good as an Xbox 360 controller. I'd say in some cases it's better. In some cases it's a bit, uh, maybe the, maybe a tiny bit of mechanical delay compared to a 360 pad. Um, but obviously maybe I can adjust with technique. I can get rid of that buffer. So yeah, this is great. I'll be using this again. Uh, I'm not. I don't. I'm not. I don't put my joystick. I'm probably not going to end up putting my joystick in the corner like I was when I first got it. So now I have a, a, a usable joystick. It's like five hundred dollars Canadian, five hundred maybe more. But I actually don't. I actually want to use this now. It's enjoyable. So, so there's a lesson in uh, arcade sticks, especially when it comes to uh, 
Twitch Twitch shooters or um, reactionary games. I'd even say, because they say the diagonals in Street Fighter, like, I mean, it's doable. Like, if you're doing like a thing, maybe, maybe, like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what wouldn't be doable with this joystick for. Maybe it's just is it is it just like the people who use the uh, the Sanwa like are afraid to crap talk it because they're just used to it like is that like this joystick it seems like it's better in every way even for even for Street Fighter I mean like like I don't I don't know is that is that not does that not work like does that does that is that not like does that not work like for like a back roll or like a you know, is that like I'm not I'm not new, I'm new to this, but like it seems like this would be, be like just as good if not better. Like I don't get it. So I mean I don't get why they I don't get why there's this JLF cult. I really don't get it. And I know I don't I don't think I ever will. That's the scary part. I don't think I ever will fully understand like the universe. So um. Anyway, so that's my uh, that's my story. I'm, I wish I showed you guys some uh, some gameplay elements and stuff, but I'm just trying to get through this, and uh, I'd rather just explain things than show you me dying or whatever in, 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 a, in a game and making, you know, as I'm still learning, because I'm pretty new to shmups, so. Anyway, so that's it. Um, turn the LEDs on, this thing. Where's the LEDs? Turn the LEDs on, this thing. <laughs> it's so it's so tacky. It's, it's so tacky. It's so tacky, it's great. Anyway, guys, so that's uh, that's my update. I will. I have now. I have a usable joystick. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, so people, because uh, I was getting a bit concerned that maybe the joystick community was like too nostalgia based or something. But this is actually good. This is this is quite good. So anyway, so guys, peace out. Have a good day.